Tens Today we are having a discussion about the application of various chromatographic techniques in standardization of herbal products. This is a not a small uh, topic. It is. It, it has to be used all your previous knowledge is what you have studied. Specifically in your analytical chemistry and instrumental methods and in chemistry and also in pharmacognosy and uh, even herbal drug technology which you have studied. In lab, practicals, whatever you have done and apart from that we have to know about latest techniques which are more useful for standardization of herbal drugs by pharmaceutical industries. So application of various chromatographic techniques in standardization of herbal products. Pharmacognostical analysis of medicinal herb remains challenging as herbs are in complicated system of mixture. Developed analytical separation techniques for example TLC thin layer chromatography which we are very much familiar and it is the easiest technique and also it is a major technique which has been more supportive for any scholars and any researchers who are undergoing in herbal drugs. And this is only showing the picture and we will go in detail about what we have studied before and as well as how to out of the applications and examples which can be applied. So when we talk about application it is not only the this can be used for this isolation, this structure, this or this not only that is sufficient. You should know how to perform, how to do, how to the technology behind and at all the um, basic principle behind the techniques is also very important. Paper chromatography is also one technique which you know very well and which we are applying for various herbal drug technology and herbal drug standardization. There are many types of paper chromatographies which we have studied and which we have done in the lab also, we will have a discussion about certain things. And column chromatography is also for quantitative type of estimations and large amount of separations if you want to do certain compounds, we have to go for a preparative chromatography, we have to undergo big column chromatography. So that is also we have discussed in theoretically, we have studied in pharmacognosy and phytochemistry 2 in your fifth semester. I hope that knowledge is also necessary for you to undergo the application of herbal drug standardization, how it can be utilized by chromatographic techniques. And then gel permeation chromatography we will discuss gels, the pores which can be made by means of gel and gel permeation chromatography which can be followed for application of standardization of herbal formulations and herbal drugs. HPLC is a very important instrument and very important techniques in chromatography which has more application for our work. We will be having a detailed discussion about high performance liquid chromatography and ultra high performance liquid chromatography is also one more technique which we have to discuss in detail which has more application nowadays for the reverse phase chromatography which we are applied for specifically in herbal drug technology and herbal drug standardization we will be having in study. And the instruments are, I have taken only one picture which is about Hitachi, 
there are even waters also they have many companies many japan companies they have introduced this high tech ultra high performance liquid chromatography instrument and then gas chromatography which we know that is also important chromatography technique which can be applied for various standardization of herbal drugs and herbal formulations and high performance thin layer chromatography at present the situation it was highly applicable for standardization of herbal drugs and when we come to hydrophilic interaction chromatography hydrophilic interaction chromatography is also another technique which is having more applicable and which can be used to certain polymers or polyethylene amines and hydronic acid which has been used as a electro electronic or electrostatic self assembly which can be used as a stationary phase which has used for various isolation of separation of herbal drugs which can be done for standardization purpose and super <coughs> fluid chromatography which we are using carbon dioxide as a super fluid chromatography is also applicable in herbal drug standardization which we can have a discussion in detail in separately also we have to undergo the discussion about how the chromatography is performed and what all the examples which can be performed some of the journals which they have published paper list of drugs if you mention that will be very much interesting for this subject especially because it is an elective subject you should have a wide range of references and wide range of applic that is when you write the exam it is needed for detail not a specific notes or anything you should go for a wide range of reference for application reference for writing the examination clearly so that it will be have more uh, uh, interest for uh, or it will give more value for you when the evaluator evaluating your paper and liquid chromatography which is connected with nuclear magnetic resonance actually after separating the compound immediately you can identify the number of hydrogen or number of carbon number of nitrogen nuclear magnetic resonance instrument can be connected with a hplc or liquid chromatography generally can be connected and so that you can identify the compounds number of carbon atom elucidation can be done the structural elucidation can also be done and identification can be clearly done what compound have been got separated and you can get the you might have studied about the nuclear magnetic resonance in detail in your analytical chemistry or in your instrumental methods about how the shielding de shielding takes place in an organic compound when it is applied a magnetic field in a probe as shown in the picture we will be having a detailed discussion about it and liquid chromatography connected with mass spectroscopy lcms mass spectroscopy which can be after after getting separated by the compound in the liquid chromatography the compound enters into the ionization chamber and i get ionized and you can calculate or you can identify by the detector ionizing chamber which can be ionized molecules can be detected in mass spectroscopy by means of identifying its mass so that's also a very good instrument which can be connected with hplc with mass spectroscopy this also an instrument which is more applicable <coughs> the chromatographic technique which is connected with mass spectroscopy is an instrument which can be more applicable for standardization of herbal formulation and herbal drugs gas chromatography is with mass spectroscopy is also available gcms is also a great instrument which is having separation of the compound takes place by means of gas chromatography and then ionization so it enters and then it get ionized and the detector of ionization ions detector can even give the 
mass numbers can be easily detected and identification of the compound will be very much easy when it is compared when it is with the software when it is connected with the computers for data interpretation and now we talk about thin layer chromatography which we know very well but i don't want to leave it by, by means of just you can refer because i am just introducing this as a lecture for only for tlc and every every day every lecture we will improve with one day hplc one day with man, one one examples we will go for our discussion so thin layer chromatography is a simple known as tlc it is one of the most popular and simple chromatographic technique used for separating of compounds in the phytochemical evaluation of herbal drugs tlc being employed extensively for the following reason one is it enhances rapidly analysis of herbal extract with minimum simple clean up requirements it provide qualitative and the semi qualitative information of the resolved compounds it enable the quantification of chemical constituents fingerprint using hplc and the glc is also carried out in specific cases before performing its needed the initial stages tlc will help them the tlc fingerprinting the data can be recorded using the high performance thin layer chromatography hp tlc is one of the biggest the technique which is one of the most important technique which is nowadays applicable in pharmaceutical industry and in herbal technology scan include the chromatogram that, that is rf value retarding factor values the color of the separated bands their absorption spectrum lambda max also resolved the bands by means of having a detector of uv spectroscopy detector so we can see that maximum absorption of the light in the detector which can give you even identification can be done by means of separating in hp tlc all these together with a profile on the derivatization we when we can you can use some reagents by natural reagent derivatization with different reagent represents the tlc fingerprinting profile of the sample the information so generated has a potential application in the identification of an authentic drug in excluding the adultery adulters adulterants not adulterants and in maintaining the quality and the consistency of the drug quality and the consistency of the drug tlc was the common method of choice for herbal analysis before instrumental chromatography methods like gc gas chromatography high performance liquid chromatography were established the tlc was the one of the wide range and also simple and which can be performed in the lab and a researcher can easily identify its initial stage of analysis initial stage of separation of the compound and identification of compound can be performed even nowadays tlc is still frequently used for the analysis of herbal medicine since various pharmacopias such as american herbal pharmacopia ahp chinese drug monograph and, uh, and analysis pharmacopia of the people's republic of china etc are even reported and supported and recommended for tlc still use tlc to provide the first characteristic fingerprints of herbs as i told fingerprints fingerprints not this one it is about the recordical application of a technique a chromatographic technique which gives a chromatogram for the identification to make a, the quality of the herbal drugs and the formulation an example for analyst evaluated by tlc an example terminalia chagula and 
garlic acid, gallic acid, not garlic acid, gallic acid, the tannins. Harha or harhara. The stationary face which you can use is silica gel G. Mobile face, toluene, ethyl acetate, formic acid in the ratio of 5 is to 5 is to 1. Astridachia indica, name, Catranthus rosiaceae, vinca, and Mavodica charnita. These three plants, stationary phase, can be used as silica gel G, mobile phase, dichloromethane, and methanol 2 is to 8 can be performed. Mushroom extracts, stationary phase, silica gel G can be utilized, and mobile phase, dichloromethane, and ethyl acetate methanol in the ratio of 3 is to 1 is to 1 can be performed. And here comes the terminal H which is known as the black or Chabulic myrablan is a species of terminalia native to South native to South Asia from India and Nepal east of Southwest China and south to Sri Lanka, Malaysia and Vietnam. And for strictness nexomica also, we have found a stationary phase an example, silica gel G, mobile phase, dichloroform, ethyl acetate, diethylamine in the ratio of 0.5 is to 8 is to 5 is to 1. And constituents of the fruit of pepper chabam, that is piperin, piperamin, Piper Longo, Bermine, and Methyl Piperate. Piper Longo, Mimine, and Methyl Piperate. This all can be separated by means of using a stationary phase silica gel D, mobile phase N, Xen, Ethyl Acetate, 1 is to 1. Quinolones can also be separated. <coughs> By means of using stationary phase silica gel G, mobile phase dichloromethane and NXA in the ratio of 8 is to 2. These are some of the examples which you can specify. Pepper cup chaba is a commonly called as pepper chaba. It is a flowering wine in family. Papraceae. I hope it is not possible for you to see properly chili. It's called a paper chili and it's flowering wine in the family Papraceae. That is native to South and Southeast Asia. Application actually continues. It is enabled rapid analysis of herb extract with minimum sample cleanup requirements which we have told already why we want to select TLC. It enables the quantification of chemical constituents present in the herbal drugs or herbs stability testing for herbal medicine. TLC can be used to identify natural products like essential oil, volatile oil, fixed oil, glycosides, wax, alkaloids, etc. For visualizing of separated spots, no specialized dete detectors are required. It's widely used in separating multi-compound pharmaceutical formulation. Even an iodine pellets or iodine chamber can be used for identifying the spots. Some of the secondary metabolites can be easily seen by brown spots. TLC can be carried out with a minimum quantity of high expensive solvents such as making process economical and it is used to purify herbal drug samples and direct comparison in is done between the test sample and the standard sample. It is used in detection of pesticides, 
or insecticides in food and water. It is used in food industry. It separates and identifies colors, sweetening agents and preservatives. It is used in herbal cosmetic industry. TLC is used to separate non-volatile mixtures. It is used in separating of vitamins, especially vitamin E, vitamin D3 and vitamin A. So now we want to have a small discussion what we have, we have done previously, what we have studied about TLC before. Just I am giving a glance, just I am going little a glance because sometimes they ask Explain how TLC is applicable for standardization of HPLC means you should die, write in detail if they are asking for 5 mark question or if they are asking for sometimes if they are asking for essay question you should write something about TLC how to perform and if that means you should know about how to prepare a plate and how the general isolation of the compound general detection of the compound can be done by what do you mean by detection what do you mean by development what do you mean by spray reagent which we are using for different components of phytochemical investigations should be written very clearly which you know but if you want to express in the examination it's needed for you to read this the TLC is an example of adsorption chromatography the stationary phase being a thin layer adsorbent held on a suitable backing suitable backing means by the glass plate you should have a support separation of the compound present in the plant extract depend on the difference in their adsorptive disruptive, disruptive adsorptive and disruptive behavior of the stationary phase in respect to the stationary phase if you are using silica gel G the stationary phase what is its power of adsorbing what is the affinity of the compound stay in the stationary phase and how it can be disruptive how it can release in the mobile phase then it can be eluted it can be shifted to one place to another so that the separation will take place TLC involves in thin layer of adsorbent mixed with a binder such as calcium sulfate that is G stands for gypsum which is spread on the glass plate and allowed to dry the plant mixtures to be separated is applied as a spot near the base of the plate which is then placed in closed glass tank containing a layer of develop, developing solvent so like this you have to give 45 degrees slanting and so that the development will take place the solvent moves up the plate by capillary action carrying with it the less strong adsorb the components to the mixture while the more strongly adsorbed component remain near to the base of the plate the movement will be slower that's what we are telling when the solvent has reached 1 to 2 cm from the top of the plate that means 3 fourth of the plate or top of the plate you have to leave it should not, you should not leave the solvent to run up to the end of the plate so that's why we are selling in the top you leave for 1 to 2 cm from the top of the plate and the plate is removed from the tank and dry this is the tank this is the TLC plate that is a developing chamber and the solvent system which is moving from the bottom to the top so that we told that is just below 1 or 2 cm you have to remove the plates and dry and go for detecting the now separated compounds of the mixture appear as a spot on the finished plate that is chromatogram that is what we are telling chromatogram chromatogram and then we are getting this RF values and that is called the fingerprint of a TLC which you can identify the compound and which can give the quality of the compound and which can give the purity of the compound by means of comparing with the standard compound in a same TLC plate corresponding to the band of the adsorbent column this is a TLC plate just we have shown about the separation of blue color, red color and the orange color spots which you can identify which we can see just to show you in the TLC plate how it can be seen very clearly the separation. The adsorbents, we want to detail about some of the adsorbent with adsorption TLC different substances have different adsorption capacity and any one material can be vary in activity according to the pretreatment of the TLC plate. The adsorbent must be chosen 
in relation to the property of the solvent and the mixture of the separate mixture to be separated. So the compound which should be separated is plays a major role what adsorbent you are going to select. So you can write these all points are very important. You might have studied before, but you might forgotten. In general, if a high active adsorbent is used, then a solvent with a corresponding high power of elution for this for this substance will be required. So one point, if a high active adsorbent is used, then a solvent with corresponding high power of eluting, removing or moving or separating for this substance, for the compound which you are selected will be required. For example, aluminium, acidic, neutral, basic with different activity grades are commonly used. So, acidity, basicity and also neutral, these also plays a major role for the separation. To produce a film with the reasonable handling properties, the adsorbents may be mixed with 12% of weight in calcium sulfate to act as a binder, that is a gypsum G, silica gel G. Already mixed powder are commercially available, they need to be mixed with certain amount of water and may be spread onto the plate with a glass rod. Spreading type, dipping type, there are many types which you can perform for a film. The tin, the film sets within a few minutes and then activated by heating. It's necessary for you to activate to remove the solvent system which you are used for making slurry water. If it is there, it will occupy and it will reduce the affinity or the, or the, or the capacity of the stationary phase. So activation by heating as a suitable temperature, especially 120 degrees centigrade for 15 minutes have to be kept in the hot air oven. The solution to be examined or applied on the film with the help of capillary tube, spotting, I mean, micro syringes can be used, micro, micro pipettes can also be, micrometer picket pipettes can also be used. Solvent system which I have mentioned here, always the student should know about the solvent system. Even I have told in the class it is necessary in your finger fingertip it should be there. Like low polar solvents and high polar solvents. Because even column chromatography when you know you should know the solvent system in your mind. Starting from hexane, petroleum ether, diethyl ether, benzene, carbon tetrachloride, chloroform, Ethyl acetate, before ethyl acetate you can say acetone, ethyl acetate, then comes ethanol, methanol, water, dilute hydrochloric acid, dilute sulfuric acid, dilute nitric acid, like that you can come for the higher polarity compounds or solvent system. So you have to remember the solvent system, there are many solvent systems apart from this. But anyhow, you have to remember that low polar, low polar to high polar, commonly used solvents like methanol, ethanol, and other alcohols, chloroform, ether, and ethyl acetate. Visibility of the spot, it is depends upon the chemical nature of the phytochemical investigation and the phytochemical compound which you have identified. May be made by visible by heating for a special period. Examine in UV light if substances are fluorescent in two 54 nanometer and 366 nanometer lights can be performed. White light and difference can be identified. Spraying the finished chromatogram with a suitable reagents and iodine chamber can be used for various parts identification. Drag and drop reagents can be sprayed for alkaloids and this can be also performed. Advantages TLC over paper chromatography, we know that already just a simple points which we studied I am referring. Separating of compound can be achieved more rapidly and less for, with less plant material separation spot, more, com more compact and clearly demarcated from one another. Reagents like concentrated sulfuric acid which destroy the paper chromatography but which can be used located very easily in the TLC plate because it is present in the glass plate. 
and simple and inexpensive an advantage when you see quick results can be achieved from 30 minutes to few hours and good separation of the spot of the compounds very sensitive the chromatograph is resistant to the action of chemicals used by visualization of the compounds so this is how I'm just repeating somewhat about the advantages of TLC which when you are writing about TLC which can be easily written components of the TLC plate three components especially adsorbent stationary phase eluvent developing solvent mobile phase and substance required for separation plant sample like that we can just differentiate components of the TLC even we can make it even sprayer when you are using I detect detection agents can also be added another point adsorbent when we want to adsorb the capacity of the adsorbent is related to its polarity polarity we are talking about the polarity solvent also we told about polarity so what is that the, the more polar of the adsorbent material is better it will separate the compound aluminium and silica gel under normal condition these adsorbents hold little water adsorb organic materials this decreases the adsorptive capacity of the material heating may activate the adsorbent after making thin film elements the more the solvent system mobile solvent system the more polar the solvent the better it elute it is desorption property therefore water is the better eluent than ether which in turn better than cyclohexane so polarity plays a major role for eluting or separating or removing from the stationary phase substance required for separation polarity also plays an important role the least polar substance when we talk about substance least polar substance saturated hydrocarbons are least strongly adsorbed while the high polar compounds example acids are strongly adsorbed in practical in practice two adsorbents are widely used silica gel aluminium even cellulose can also be used when using these adsorbents the rule is to match the polarity of the developing solvent with that of the compounds components or compounds of the mixture to be chromatographed so that is very important to have a practice it is widely you are using two and you should know about the rule is matching of polarity of the developing solvents is very important about regarding the stationary phase and the compound which you are going to separate so that's why different solvent system it is a trial and error we have to identify separation of alkaloids we have given a general idea for alkaloids if you found out in phytochemical investigation alkaloids are present then we can go for trial and error method in the initially started with alkaloids needed a moderately polar solvents good separation example ether and ethanol when it is 95 is to 5 at 10 ml if you are taking 9.5 ml ether and 5 ml ethanol separation can be taking place the more polar solvents pure methanol can also be used if you want would be preferentially absorb and alkaloids should be carried out along with the passage of the solvent resulting poor separation suppose if you are making it more polar like methanol alone if you are doing as a mobile solvent it will take it to the line where the solvent friend it will not give you proper separation on the other hand if it is not polar the polarity is so less solvent if you are using cyclohexane would unable to displace it cannot move the surbox, spot itself it will stay in the baseline adsorbent layer and would be remain in the near to the baseline origin so addition factor of separating alkaloids if if using an aluminium thin layer neutral a neutral solvent should be used if using silica gel slightly acidic due to the method of preparation an alkaline solvent such as acetone water 25% ammonia 90 is to 7 is to 3 may be good separation 
So these are simply simple example I am giving that is neutral means what should be used, uh, silica gel means what can be preferred, why you are preferring this alkaline solvent systems, just I am giving some example. The constitution of the volatile oil, mainly suppose volatile oil, not polar terpenes they are and the best separation with the corresponding non-polar solvents such as chlorophyll, benzene mixtures will be helpful for volatile oil. Certain oils may need more polar solvents like clove oil it, and phenolic substances are there so it needs more polar solvents otherwise less polar solvents can be used for volatile oil. Separation of sugars and sugar, may, sugar acid mixtures this mixture produced by hydrolyzing starch and gums they are strongly polar and therefore strongly uh, ad adsor adsorbed into the stationary phase like silica and aluminia layer. So although strongly polar solvents are used, separation of this thin layer is not generally stationary or better results are obtained using weak polar adsorbents such as cellulose, a polar solvent such as butanol, water, ethanol and water 5 is to 4 is to 1 solvent system can be utilized. Alternatively, paper chromatography could be used. It can be also performed for volatile oils. General rule for TLC. TLC is the best use for moderate, moderately and weak polar mixtures. And that is about just I gave on examples of TLC and just to come into you for an introduction. Understand? This is about the TLC and which is needed for you to have an idea about TLC, how it is application and you have to perform. So anyhow, we will just continue as a next class for application of high performance thin layer chromatography. Uh, sorry, not less class, sorry. This is not high performance thin layer chromatography. Let me finish this high, uh, high performance thin uh, layer chromatography, not high performance liquid chromatography, I have to separately I have to teach you, but this we will just have a discussion from the TLC only, this is high performance thin layer chromatography, let me continue this, otherwise this is also TLC with more uh, applicable and a more interesting topic with a uh, video I have added, let me, uh, let me start with a uh, new class for you to explain this. Thank you.